Hello again everyone and welcome back to the series on how to draw iconic movie characters. Before we start of course, if you could subscribe that would be terrific, thank you very much and also <laughs> ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well the iconic movie character today is Neo from The Matrix. Of course it's uh, Keanu Reeves. And I'm going to start off with the extremely iconic sunglasses. Okay, so just a little line across the bridge of the nose there like that. And you come up slightly on both sides and then a sh long shallow curve like that curving down quite an even curve on this side his head's slightly tilted to the side so this one goes up at a slightly sharper angle up like that and it curves over quite quickly and the difference there and this one comes down really straight and this one too and then you have a kind of quick curve here, which carries on around, and then kind of slopes up, not quite to a point, to a little line there, okay? This one does exactly the same thing. Comes down like that. Curves over and then quickly goes up to the corner there with that little line there, and then you have the sidebar there, okay? And his nose will come down at a slight angle like that. Okay, you'll also see a little bit of the uh, eyebrows coming in here. There, okay? And now the, the hair, rather high forehead, okay? And the hair is brushed back, so come up quite a bit and start about here. And the hair itself, again, is uh, quite distinctive. It's curved up kind of sweat back like that and you get these uh, kind of highlighted shapes coming up. One like that, another one coming up like that, top of the head here. And the line, there's almost a little peak here. And the line of the hair comes up in a curve like that, and around the side of his forehead, then back down towards the sunglasses there. And you kind of follow that out with slightly jaggy lines on the outside coming closer, like that, down to where the ear is, here. And we'll see the ear, a fairly narrow view of the ear from this side. Come out, something like that, okay? To this other side here, so again, have the little peak shape coming up, and then carving round and down a bit and coming around the side of his forehead, then coming out again to the little point and back in again, going past the leg of the glasses here to the sideburns, which are a point. Now this side of the hair, a lot higher than this side, so you come over like that. I'm using these kind of rough, kind of jagged lines to get the feeling of the hair being spiked up. Come down to the ear here, and the ear appears and like that. Its shape here, a little kind of crooked line there, and then the inside of the ear come in that sort of shape, and the outside coming like that with the ear lobe there. Okay, now the nose very straight, coming down to the point here, quite narrow, right, and up on either side, quite distinctive, but quite small nostrils. The side of the nostril fairly straight coming in like that with a sharp curve at the top. This one slopes in a bit but again fairly straight. You get the shading coming in here and around about the bottom of the nose which actually comes a bit a bit deeper than that. Let's take the bottom of the nose off here just now and I can bring that down a bit more to about there. I can use this for that line for shading. Okay, and then the top lip, you get the groove in the top lip, appearing here. Then the lips themselves are quite full. You get a curve there, and it curves over like that. Another one curves over quickly like that. And the mouth is slightly open, so you get this uh, 
kind of line coming down in the middle and then going back up again and across like that. And then this area here is dark, it's shaded because the mouth is slightly open as I said, it comes in about there. And then you get the bottom lip appearing there. Coming back up. And a nice bit of deep shadow under here. I'll just draw the shape of it at the moment, which goes around the top of his chin. The chin shape is here. So that shadow follows that line of the chin, which is fairly square at the bottom. It's quite an angular face. Can of Reeves. That comes up like that. To the jawline. And then joins this line coming down here. And the other side, same kind of thing, comes at an angle into this turning point here. And then joins a straight line at the bottom of his chin there. And a bit of shading under his cheekbone, which appears about here, coming down the side of his face. And some shading on this side of his upper lip. And the kind of muscle bit here, which the shading curved around. So all this would be shaded here, but you leave a bit of light in here. Like that, okay? And the neck will come like that at an angle. And then of course you have the, the kind of black polo neck shape coming up. Like that, appearing behind his neck there, coming down. And then his other shoulder appearing in there. That'll be nice and black. So there's the outline of uh, Neo's face, Colonel Reeves. Okay, I'm still using the 5B pencil and uh, just toughening up some of these lines here before we start shading. We're straight into the black now. Now, as I said, this shape here, kind of spiky shape, we leave white. And again, like in most of my tutorials, we're talking about drawing the hair. If you try and draw, initially anyway, the hair, going the way that it's combed. This comb backwards like that. So use your pencil to try and suggest the way in which the, the hair is actually springing out like that. Okay, so that shape will come up and follow our shading of that rather highlight that I left there. So we'll continue to do that. So as I come up, you can then change my style to more elliptical shading like that. Um, same with this here, nice and dark following the line of the hair along the hairline. Again, using that kind of shape. There's a bit of a highlight coming down here, so I'll draw that highlight shape. And there's another bit catching the top of the curve here, so I'll draw that in. Leave that white as it comes down to join that one. And then I'll just kind of join it up by trying to shade in as I said, using the same kind of direction and that highlight there will join up to that one there. But as I get to the top, then I can start to, you know, just move the pencil around about and get, uh, just get the area filled in nice and black. Okay, so I'm going to work in the hair like that and we'll uh, catch up with you when I've done it. All right, I'm just finishing off shading the hair now. And I'm going to move on to the shades. Okay, now they're basically uniformly black, but on this side the light's catching the corner as it curves around slightly, so there's a bit of a highlight here and a lighter tone of black coming around from here. So this is to be solid black, but this is slightly greyer. Okay, so I would start to shade that in again fairly evenly, maybe around that highlight there, around that shape that I've drawn. Get that nice clean edge to the shape of the sunglasses there. Okay, and then take the weight of the pencil and put this in a much lighter tone. Now that actually you got a that quality of the light catching the edge there. Okay, and then I'll shade this one in, just as a solid black. All right, that's uh, that one finished. Okay, now I can do a bit of uh, 
more delicate shading. As I said, you get uh, a bit of the uh, eyebrow just kind of appearing and like that up here. And then a bit of shading up the side of the forehead here, just following that line there. And you can put a bit more sketching this into your lines now if you like. Okay, and as I said, down the side of the nose here, a little bit under the, the lens there, and another one here. Imagine the reflecting and leaving a beacon kind of line there. And then down the side of the nose again, as I said, you can use some sketchy lines like that, and uh, a bit more weight in the pencil for the side of the nose when you get a kind of line coming down from the, the side there. Okay, and take that a wee bit more, that's better. It's a wee touch there, and uh, as I said, the nostrils small but quite deep coming down underneath there. And that more at an angle, like that, and that line comes underneath there. And then we get a bit of shading underneath the nose itself, filling that area there. And then this side of the groove in his upper lip, and then a bit of shading on that bit coming down the side of his lip there. Now, most of the lips themselves, as I said, this area between the lips, nearly quite dark, so a lot of weight in your pencil. Follow that shape. And quite a bit of uh, shading on this side, less on this side. And you can follow the line of the lip around a wee bit like that, and then just outline the top of the lips very slightly. Maybe a bit of uh, shading in there, and then you can just uh, put a bit of shading in the upper lip, like that. And the bottom lip, as I said, full out line around there, and then nice and deep under the lip. Nice deep shadow there. and a slightly lighter shadow following the line of the chin, coming around like that. Let me get my sketchy lines in again here. Like that, okay. Now just back up quickly to the ear. A bit of shading in there. And that'll do. And just outline the cheekbone a bit more. And this one here. And Bit of shading in this ear too. Darker than this bit and then lighter as you come down to there. And a bit of shading around the ear. And then as I said, the under the cheekbones a bit of shading and as you can use your sketchy lines for that. Follow that line then there. And then that muscle I mentioned. And then, of course, a nice bit of deep shadow under the chin to make that stand out. But shh, nice big shadow in here. Bit of a weight in your pencil. Excellent. Yeah, it's coming together rather nicely. And now, of course, this is the actual um, sweater or pull neck that he's wearing, the black one. So basically, again, it's a solid black you want. So just go around your edges like that and then just fill it in quite sketchily. You can use quite a bit of weight on your pencil to do that. Just, you know, and you develop a flat edge to your the lead of the pencil there, so just at the tip of the pencil, just use that to get nice sketchy flat lines coming in. Okay, I'm just finishing off this sketchy part here. Excellent, well, I hope you enjoyed that. That's Ken Reeves as Neo from The Matrix. So I hope you can join me again for another tutorial very soon. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.